If you need help losing weight or cooking healthier, you may turn to some As Seen on TV products. Some of these products work, and some are a blanket full of farts or a golf club full of urine. Let's focus on the latter. Today, we're counting down the 10 As Seen on TV products you won't believe actually exist. And since we don't release content on TV, why not subscribe and hit the bell so you know when our new stuff comes out? While some As Seen on TV products don't age well over time, the potty putter was uniquely ridiculous when it was first introduced, and it has become even less practical over time. The potty putter is a small bit of putting turf designed to be used while on the toilet. The commercial is marketed towards increasing your golf skills while also keeping yourself occupied if you're going to be in the bathroom for a long stretch. So other than just being patently ridiculous, let's just break down a few reasons why it's also impractical. Few, if any, golfers putt in a full squat, so I'm not sure those skills are transferable. And the amount of distance between your two legs is a bit smaller than most tricky golf putts. Also, this product is still available to purchase today. Maybe in the 90s this would be an alternative to reading a book or a magazine, but has anyone used a toilet in recent years without looking at their phone? And who in this household is periodically cleaning a product designed to be played with while using the toilet? Very few discussions end well when they start with, Honey, you got poop on your golf clubs. Trust me. Before we dive into this next product, we want to clarify. This product is the T-I-D-D-Y bear. The titty bear. Like teddy bear, but, you know, worse. So from a practical standpoint, the titty bear is designed to solve the pesky problem of harsh, scratchy seatbelts uncomfortably rubbing up against you while in the car. Not sure how pervasive that particular problem really is, but for now, let's roll with it. If it were a couple of bucks near the checkout aisle, it might be a neat talking point for your car. But why are you selling it on television and calling it the titty bear? There's a relatively narrow market for people who want to associate stuffed animals with sexual innuendos. The patent-pending design swivels to work from either the driver's side or passenger seat and fits all makes and models. So for most, it just completely tarnishes any cute factor. And if you've ever met a child, you know they love repeating bad words once they hear them. <laughs> Plus, there's an entire market of seatbelt covers that actually cover more of the belt. It's basically like the Hawaiian pizza of car accessories. Some of the elements really work, but only separately. It's not uncommon to see an unflattering picture of yourself with a double chin or wonder if there's any way to get rid of the little extra skin just around the neck area. Turns out there's plenty of ways, like diet, exercise, etc. But it also turns out that someone also made a product for that very use. The Neckline Slimmer is a workout for your neck that is supposed to help shape up your neckline. My Neckline Slimmer uses progressive resistance to gently firm the underlying muscles of the neck, tightening the skin at the same time for a dramatic lift. There's a few problems with this concept, but let's start with the key one. Is it actually working the correct muscles? Repeatedly moving your head up and down with resistance really feels like it's working out the back of your neck more than your throat or jaw area, which if you're looking to bulk up the back of your neck, I'm sure it might work. But for anyone trying to slim up their selfie game, it's not quite clear how this would help, unless the concept behind the neck slimmer is that it makes the back of your neck look thicker so the front looks thinner. If that's the goal of any of our viewers, I guess give them a call. There have been several products to keep you nice and warm that have bordered between practical and ridiculous. Weighted or heated blankets work fairly well, and we can see maybe some sort of merit in the Total Sauna, although that's pushing it a bit. Because with Total Sauna, you sweat and sweat and sweat. But if you're craving all of that sauna action, but isolated to the top half of your lower body, then might we recommend layers? Because sauna pants are ridiculous. It's a product designed to be worn similar to shorts, but emits warmth exclusively on your upper legs and midsection. Like a seat warmer, but without being in the car. So there's that. Look, we're not judging anyone who buys these in service of relaxation, but in general, there's not a lot of mass appeal when you've got an electric heating pad shoved directly onto your some of the area it covers. It's also marketed towards weight loss, which likely isn't going to work out for most users, but one Amazon review mentioned it helps with cramps, so if that's something you struggle with, maybe try cramp pants. 
has this ever happened to you? You're asleep, and when you wake up in the middle of the night, your loaded shotgun isn't within arm's reach for you to fire before you've even had a chance to think? Then boy, do we have the product that you definitely should not buy. Mm. The backup is a shotgun holder that is designed to slip under your mattress and keep your shotgun accessible while still in bed. Look, how and where people keep their firearms is certainly up to each individual person. But designing a product that's essentially the closest thing to shoot first, think later, seems like it's a recipe for disaster. Not only that, but with tossing and turning, getting up while you're still half asleep, and keeping a gun at basically the height of a child or pet's face? Look, we guess you could give this product a shot. Uh... It might fire on all cylinders. Uh but the results could be explosive. Uh, it's like playing with a loaded gun. Waka waka. <laughs> because, well, there's a bedside shotgun involved. Products that are specifically designed to reduce the amount of fat in a given meal certainly are hit or miss. The George Foreman grill has been a staple of many homes for years. And then you have less inspired products like the fat magnet. This is a product that according to the description absorbs fat floating on the surface of foods and removes excess fat from greasy foods, which makes sense considering fat is magnetic, similar to tin, aluminum, or cobalt. Obviously, there's no magnetic properties at work here, but reading some of the product reviews, it becomes clear pretty quickly that even at its most effective, this product is convoluted and might barely work. There's definitely easier ways to keep meals healthy than freezing a magnet for 24 hours and then quickly rubbing it all over your food to soak up the extra fat and oils. If the concern is to get rid of the surface level grease though, then there is a revolutionary new tool called a paper towel that's been proven to be pretty effective. There's a product called the Better Marriage Blanket that will absorb your flatulence while you sleep, which, as we all know, is the one thing that has been ruining marriages for years. Quick rundown. It's made with activated carbon fabric, the same material used to protect soldiers from chemical weapons. It is designed to absorb any foul-smelling emissions, or to use the scientific term, toots and farts that we all know are the destruction to any solid marriage. According to some reviews, the product in fact does work, as its creation was inspired by the same gear hunters use to mask their own odors. It's just hard to imagine having a conversation that starts with, honey, your stinky farts are so bad that I can't sleep at night. So I bought you a new type of blanket that sucks up all the smell. Not sure that's the start of a conversation that ultimately leads to, what did the product sell again? Oh, right, a better marriage. Where, oh where, to begin with the product that is the booty pop. Well, in a literal sense, the product is designed to, if I may, make your booty pop. It's supposed to fall into the same category as a padded bra, which is a much more common product, but there's just something in the combination between the ridiculous name and the look of the product itself that just doesn't pop. First question we think we all asked is, what happens when you sit? That cannot be comfortable. This particular area of the human anatomy sees a lot more functional use in our day-to-day -day lives than other parts of our bodies. I like your take on boobies, and I like boobies. So beyond being a little silly in concept, it seems a bit impractical as well. There's definitely a reason products like the padded bra or even shoe lifts can be found in stores, while the booty pop is reserved for TV infomercials. Booty pop panties will make you look and feel like you spent a fortune. Now for a small price, you can have the booty of your dreams. Of course, we had to save our number two spot for the, um... Creamy poop of a mystic unicorn. Totally clean, totally cool and soft serve straight from a sphincter. Mmm, they're good at pooping. Yes, the infamous Squatty Potty that went viral a few years ago still ranks among some of the most ridiculous products on the market today. The product itself is comparatively mundane compared to the rest of the items on our list. It's a plastic step for your legs that conforms your system to a position more natural to your body when using the toilet. Though considering it's an as seen on TV product, the thing that might be most noteworthy is the TV spot itself. Unlike some of the other products on this list, the marketing team decided to lean into 
to how ridiculous this product was with a commercial designed to be a big hit on the internet. Complete with a tongue and cheek style, <laughs> cheek on the face that is, and a unicorn pooping out rainbow ice cream, the team behind this product knew exactly how to get the Squatty Potty into the zeitgeist. Oh, Squatty Potty, you fill me with endless joy. They say necessity is the mother of invention. And we guess the best thing you could say about the Euro Club is that, yeah, at times it is super hard to find a spot to go to the bathroom, especially when you're on the golf course really far away from the clubhouse. That said, who and what and where and why and how went into the development of a golf club that you pee into? The idea that this is somehow more dignified than finding a secluded spot in the trees is bonkers. Has anyone actually been fooled by this? No one is ever holding a towel above their crotch while checking a golf club. So it's pretty obvious what's going on down there. I'm peeing. And I'm not sure that covering yourself up with just a towel eliminates the possibility of being seen at all angles, so you may have some public indecency issues with this product. Plus, we haven't even covered how you now have to carry your pee club in your bag. Ugh. No, the idea is bad, the execution is bad, this is just piss poor. And that is why this product is number one on our list. And there you have it. Are you going to order any of these products? Well, let us know in the comments below. If you liked this video, give it a like or a share and subscribe and check back next time to find out what else needs to be ranked.